Well, this is a photo of John and I in 1964. I was born in May 61, and John in May 1962. Oh, we ourselves formed a band which we called the Cockroaches, which was a name the Stones use at uh, secret gigs they used to play. We were pretty rough sounding, but <laughs> uh, at least had a lot of enthusiasm. Then our album came out, and I guess all those years of live must have played off. I mean, we had a good following because we hit the charts at number two. Uh, She's the One was, was kind of our big hit song, and that's a song John wrote, and it was huge. Um, but eventually, <laughs> off that, it was, it was huge. Still paying his groceries. And uh, <laughs> within a very short time, the, the album went gold, which is great, and then it went platinum, which is even better. And we did touring, 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 many years. And then we had the deep personal tragedy of Paul's baby dying, which affected us all, especially, of course, Paul. That was an emotional death knell for us all, you know, in, in a way. It was an emotional stopping of the fun. It was hard to go back on the road after that. But I've always had this, this love of country music, I left your frizzle, and going back to Anthony and me watching Gene Autry shows at 5.30 in the morning, and we just... I, I've always loved it, so I, there's a part of me that I wanted to express through this and ring Paul and said, we've got to do a country album. Talk about the sound of rain. On this album, we've worked with some really great people. Diana Corcoran, Troy Casadaly, Bill Chambers, Shane Nicholson, Mick Orbach on fiddle, and, and even Greedy Smith on harmonica. <laughs> it's, it's been so much fun. <laughs> so anyway, that's who we are, uh, and that's how we got here. Uh, and at the end of the day, we hope you dig the music, you guys as well. Oh,